Hey guys, it's Brel. It's time for another book review. It's been a really long time. I just can't seem to get a consistent schedule down when I work full time, but that's okay. I'm back. We're ready to go. So, I've got the book. I have tea sitting over there, but it's hot and I can't reach it. So, uh, let's get started. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, don't think twice. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, things will be alright, you know. It's a love story. We all know that I am slightly obsessed with a good love story. Maybe it's because I'm single. I don't know. I just love romance. So today's book is called The Heartbreakers by Ali Novak. I saw it at Target and I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I did not love the cover. But something about it picked me up. Um I think it was this, the little, the byline on the, the cover, which is, Oliver is the lead singer of the world's hottest band. Stella has no idea. <sighs> so, um, it basically revolves around um, this girl, Stella, who is a photographer and, and a high school student, and she's a triplet. Her sister's sick with cancer. Her brother just seems kind of cool. Um, she basically gets, she meets Oliver who is the lead singer of this band called The Heartbreakers in a Starbucks. Um, she takes some pictures of him. She takes... Stuff happens uh, that I can't remember. Um, but she ends up getting a job as um, running a photo blog for the band, and so she goes on tour with them. And... It's kind of cool. She like spends like a few nights in Chicago, like a night in Chicago, hanging out with the band and all this kind of stuff. It's really fun to get her sister an autograph. That's why she meets them. Um, and then she, of course, falls in love with Oliver, and he is an adorable lead singer. And you know, there's ups, there's downs, but it ties up in a very nice nice bow and oh I like when nice bows happen um, I really enjoyed this book it was a really fast read for me I think I read it in like two days um, it's it's just adorable it kind of has um, a little bit of a girl online on tour vibe almost to it which was nice um, but a little different um, every character really is just compelling and even like the characters like the bandmates are really interesting and and the relationship between um Stella and Oliver is really really nice and really developed and really cool but her relationship with her siblings is so sweet and so cool to see and then her or to read not see um and then her relationship with the bandmates is really awesome and um it's it kind of shows that their their friends and all that kind of stuff and that, that the band really loves Stella and that they'll protect her against Oliver sometimes which is really nice and yeah obviously there's drama but I really don't feel like there's like one character that's like like an ex-girlfriend that kind of weasels her way in or or like a character who's really sabotage like obviously like that character's gonna be sabotaging things it's kind of um, you know, that doesn't really happen that much. It does a little bit, but not to the extreme that a lot of these kinds of books are that cause them to cause trouble. Um, so that was really nice. I just, I really enjoyed it, you guys. It was, it was just kind of a sweet story, you know? Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, there's one part that it, Stella's from Minnesota, so I was kind of like, oh hey, I know where she is in this book. But she kind of gets to travel around everywhere. And 
it's it's really cool watching the relationships between the siblings was really nice and yeah I really enjoyed it um one thing I really liked about this um about the story was Stella's um way of kind of separating herself from her two siblings who you know she like I said earlier she's a one of a triplet um and she kind of, she's too scared to go off on her own, yet she really wants to be recognized for herself. And so watching her grow and, like, learn who she is throughout the story and throughout her, um, on tour with the Heartbreakers was really, was really nice. And she challenges Oliver. I like when the characters can challenge each other in ways that, you know, goes beyond just regular love. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I'd probably give this a 4 out of 5. It was, like I said, it was really sweet and just romantic and it was really good. And now I want to read this author's other book, My Life with the Walter Boys. I might review that because if this one is this good, I hope her first one is just as good. Well, guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Short, sweet to the point as always. Um, I would definitely recommend it, especially uh, The Heartbreakers, especially if you like good <laughs> romantic young adult stories. It's one of my favorites I've read in a while. So, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Anyway, um, the next book review, I think uh, it's either going to be another positive one because apparently I don't have a lot of critiques for books um or it'll be kind of a or it'll be a negative one I haven't decided yet <laughs> whichever one I post first <laughs> anyway thanks for watching stay safe cupcakes and have a great day or nay that I don't know uh, if you